the bathroom. Um, but in our kitchen waste, we were probably missing uh, about 16% by volume for recyclables and about 53% compostable waste. So that was a lot of material that we were missing. And in the kitchen area, we could get them to you know, clean out the containers that needed to be rinsed in order to be recycled and try to divert some of that compostable weight. We looked at some internal options and for space reasons, time reasons, uh, money reasons, we just were not able to make anything um, you know, fly from our executive office. But we were very lucky because we have a community over here that was also working on trying to get options for other organizations in town that were struggling with the same problem. And um, if you go to the next uh, slide. The Illinois State University, Town of Normal, and Midwest Fibers were very fortunate, I think, with strong community support and some grants to be able to put together a community composting program. And I think we heard about this at last year's recycling program, but they have a farm about 20 miles from here that they are able to take food waste um, to. The Town of Normal gives them their landscape waste, and then the ISC farm um, mixes it with some of their manure and grinds it and then compost it. So again, we were very, very fortunate. The timing was, was absolutely perfect that we were able to partner with them and take advantage of their program. And when they were trying to get the program together, I think one of their main objectives <coughs> was to make it so that it was cost neutral. Because I think they knew that that would be one of the barriers that um, most of the organization would have to face. So, um, because of that program, and knowing that they were going to try to make it budget neutral, we started some internal PR campaigns, I guess. Because it wasn't just the money, I think, that was going to be an issue. For us, we had a different uh, vendor that took our recycling and a different vendor that picked up our trash. So, you know, we were going to be affecting the contracts that we had with both of these companies as well as uh, facing a perceived, I don't want to say a real, but a perceived problem that we might encounter some more bugs, we might encounter some more odors, we might have some rodent issues, and we just weren't sure how it would be received. What were our associates going to think about uh, composting? State Farm is a very, very um, conservative company when it comes to the image at their um, so, again, we started doing the internal PR part long before we actually were able to pilot the program. <laughs> and we piloted the program for six months before we were actually able to say that we were going to go live with it. Um, and we did this by installing some bug zappers before we even knew that we were going to have a bug problem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we we uh, addressed the issue of cost. Because we had done the waste audit, we knew that we were going to be able to, I guess, change some of the way we handle our other waste. The big dumpster there is what we used to traditionally use. And we, from our corporate headquarters, we would have eight cubic yards of food waste taken out every day. But it was picked up every day. And from our corporate south headquarters, we had 10 cubic yards that was picked up every day. Now, when we did the composting program, it wasn't going to be picked up every day. I think initially we started once a week, and we were very concerned that that would cause other problems. Um, so we kind of moved things around where it would be kept in a temporary location, with closed doors, and bug zappers, and Insect sprays. <laughs> um, but we were able to reduce the number of times that the trash dumpster was picked up from once or from daily now to once a week. And the trash that was normally going um, into that is now rerouted into our compactor. And instead of having the compactor picked up again on a, on a weekly basis, we now just pick it up on demand. And it's still less than a week now because we're able to divert so much of the compost out of that 